high school. Did not play a down of high school football. Here he is in the national championship game and handing it off to Carandel Hale. They average just over 37 points per game. Right back on the ground for AM Commerce and another strong run for Hale. Let's be a little bit here offensively. Perez will fake the handoff here under pressure and dump it off to Hale out of the flats. And Carandel Hale stumbles across the 20 yard. California here at AM Commerce by way of Southwestern Junior College. Zips one to Vincent Hobbs, his tight end. And this is a game breaking young man. Vincent Hobbs lowering his shoulder and finally out of bounds across midfield. Look at the big H back. They call him an A back in this offense. He's their movement guy. Got a missed tackle on defense, and he is a big lumbering H back. About 250. Physical player. What a many transfers here for these teams in the Division II level. Perez with a clean pocket, nowhere to throw, and he will just flip it out of bounds. They're going to get open vertically. Here's EJ Thompson with his first handoff. And Thompson loses a yard. The goals and the way that he put forth all of those things. Sky's the limit for this kid. That is the dream for him as he hits Sean Hooks. And Hooks is free. Inside the 15-yard line. And Sean Hooks will dive to the pylon for a Texas A&M Commerce touchdown. Well, you take a look at this right here. They're going to come out. They're going to block the secondary. Excuse me right there. We're going to block the secondary here. These two linemen are going to let this defensive end go, and they're going to come up to the second level. They're going to throw that, and away we go. Off of the backside handoff. Just a little slip tunnel screen. Now they miss an initial block. But watch number three right there. That's Darian Landry, and that enables them to get a touchdown. And uh, Perez, the Harlan Hill winner, best player in D2, will throw it to Vincent Hobbs. For... That is a first down catch for Hobbs and a pitch to Carandel Hale. who got free of a couple of tackles and gets a... To his credit, it's just an, a remarkable story that just never happens. Hale up the middle to set up 34 Perez from West Florida Territory. And it's a handoff to Carandel Hale, stumbling forward and slipping through. The mental approach, and after the snap, <laughs> I'll give you some more. Another completion, Keelan Smith ran into his own. In terms of his footwork, his mechanics, his leadership, loves Rodgers. And their coach, Colby Carthel, yesterday told us it's almost psychotic how much he's in the depth chart transfers. That doesn't include the tight end, Hobbs, who's from Colorado and Louisiana Monroe. Perez under duress, and that is off the hands of the fresher on the year. First down playing it is E.J. Thompson on the give. Riding his defender across the 35. I mentioned wants to throw it, but if they're going to give you rundowns like that, you got to take advantage. Perez taking his first deep shot of the game, and he's got it. Darian Landry. Strike. One of our keys to the game offensively, or defensively, that is, for West Florida, was to limit the explosive vertical plays. This is what they want to do. They want to take you and stretch the field. You see the little initial contact there from Jalen Spencer, the corner. And Darian Landry just runs right by him. Back on the ground to Hale. Thrilled to be with you. Somebody's going home with a trophy tonight. First place, second quarter is a handoff, and not much doing. Touchdown out of the end zone. Wide receivers bunched together. The play fake for Perez on the move and a flip to Marquise Wimberly, and he will lose a couple. You talk about what Clark told us earlier that pressure is going to keep coming from the Lions. Help lead to a takeaway there. Now a trick play, a throw by Cowan in the double coverage for Wimberly, and it's incomplete. There, don't throw it, run it. But it doesn't matter how much you tell them, they're still going to throw it. <laughs> It looks like he actually comes down with the football and then just at the last moment, a great effort. That's the man you want throwing the football. Perez zips it to Wimberley. 12 yards plus, Wimberley fighting hard. You got momentum. You're up 10. Carandel Hale. And a gate of six. And getting kids to buy in in a short period of time. 
Hale, nice delay in the backfield to zip free for another first down. That carries 61 yards. E.J. Thompson, the true freshman in the game at back now. Keelan Smith on the quick hitter. Smith is hit high. There's a flag thrown. And Smith gets down. Perez on first and goal. A little shovel flip. E.J. Thompson driven back. Stays on his feet. And gets ripped down by a couple of Argonauts. Again, is it its second year of football ever? Perez over to the sideline and Vincent Hobbs is there. And Perez will hand it off. It will be a field goal try. Mm -hmm. Here is Corrado Hale spinning away from a first tackler but dropped in the back. Argonauts. Here's a screenplay, big hit. Jonathan Coleman came. Perez will need the 45 for a first down. And Perez going to take off, try to get it, and he won't try that hard. Rush of four. He'll dump it to his back, Carandall Hale, and a pickup of yards. Here with just under 40 seconds to go. Perez toward the sideline. And that one is written and won by a couple of scores. Both teams looking for their first Division II National Championship. Here is Vincent Hobbs. Got hit from behind and got an extra 10 yards at least, maybe 12. As the bigs in the first quarter from Hobbs, he's a load, six foot three, 255 pounds. Nice job by Perez to just dump this ball off. And then big Perez from the 32. Perez with a pump fake, pressure's coming, and down he goes! Big! One sack on the evening, but it's seven. Seven tackles for loss now for this West Florida defense, and we have spoke all half long. Look at him just slightly outside of the receiving targets. Perez toward the sideline, and Cowan, he was out of bounds. To the right of the formation, Hobbs and Hooks. Luis Perez, final play of the first half, gets hit, ball comes out. And it's just for bookkeeping at this point, whether it's West Florida's take. They've had to play on the short field because of their offense ineffectiveness. Here's a give to Carandall Hale, nice first half for the redshirt freshman back, but he lost the football. It's in the hands of West Florida. There go the Argonauts down to the five with all. As we've said all along, this West Florida defense is the reason why this team's in this football game right now. You see the tremendous strip from Jonathan Coleman defensively. You got a lot of white jerseys around the football. See a program around. E.J. Thompson is the back after the lost fumble for Hale. And a good tough run here as Thompson lowers his shoulder and runs into his son. Much of the, if not the entire second quarter. And now they find themselves in a dogfight. Short throw to Hooks for aid as a result of the effort defensively by the Argonauts. Perez, all day to throw, and he hits Hobbs out of the flat. Vincent Hobbs bouncing off a defender. You cannot take this seemingly made of steel. It's a good veteran play here from Luis Perez, knowing exactly where his outlet is. You see Hobbs there. As you mentioned, the 255-pounder. He's a bull to China shop now. You take a, you're not gonna, you're, you're gonna, not gonna just ankle tackle this guy. You better bring some white jerseys with you. E.J. Thompson with a first down run and a gain of way trying to get into school and play football and take care of his family. Perez to the outside and Cowan right. E.J. Thompson, the true freshman on this third and one. Thompson takes it and runs left for a first down. He is still knocked down, Thompson. Some tough running after contact. He is the go-to guy. That's just good, hard-nosed running. He's got the ball secure. Two missed tackles there at the point of attack. And then the offensive line just in 74. Jared Machoro was in there shoving a couple of white jerseys out of the way. Perez flips it up for Hobbs. Try to reach behind him. And You're just thinking up more Sam Adams puns. <laughs> Here's a sling to Wimberley, down to the 11 for a first down. Packed backfield here, and Perez will give it to Thompson. 
for a short gain. Top, if you're going to throw the football, you don't have any safety issues. It's Cowan over there. Instead, Perez will go to Hobbs, and that's through his hands. He's in 104th in the nation. Third and eight from the nine. It's a run play, and it's Thompson for a touchdown. Untouched. You see big number 77, Jordan Smith, the left guard. He peeled drive up to Kansas City. Perez going to dump it off here, find Keelan Smith for a nice gain on first down. If you're doing, and you ride shotgun. <laughs> That's right. E.J. Thompson, a first down run near midfield. It was this January. I mean, the kid's poise, he's not ever going to be rattled. And he and his wife, Brenner, both graduating today. Perez taking a shot here, and he airmails Derek. Rhode Island, strong state, not a strong taco state. Don't it's okay. Don't so offended. Yeah, you have some chowder. Perez to the sideline here. There's a flag thrown as Marquise Wimberly makes the catch. And it's a commerce first down before the teams, these schools are really cognizant of that full student athlete experience. Only have 36 scholarships to split up as Perez is intercepted. First interception of the game thrown by Perez, and it is Andre Duncombe with the takeaway. Well, we're going to have some extracurricular activities that are going to result in a flag being thrown by every zebra. Duncombe, a return of 16. How about the spectacular play he makes here? Key in the quarterback, the one-handed grab. He got to secure the football, big man. Then he gets to the sideline, and you're going to see uh, the late hit as he goes down to the ground. The offensive lineman is going to come over the top and Poet Thomas, the Texas Tech transfer. You're going to see at the end of the play. Right there. No. Luis Perez, who has part of one of those 36 scholarships, with a handoff to E.J. Thompson, who has run with confidence. Oh, okay, come on, let's go. And a whole bunch of those players are still here and contributing tonight, including Sean Hooks, who had the first touchdown. Of the on the carpet, you're not going to play for Colby Carthel in this offense. Thompson, nine carries, 49 yards. Here is the aforementioned. Perez will fake the run to Hobbs, take a shot on second down and short, and it's reeled in by Wimberlin. And pass in the backfield, and if you get caught peeking, the offense is going streaking. You see Jalen Spencer, number four, at the corner spot. Over 1,500 in the Lions' five games. Hand off to E.J. Thompson, who breaks the tackle and nearly broke it from... Back on the ground to Thompson. He gets the yard needed and more. All ground and pound. I wouldn't deviate from it. And they snap it with only three on the play clock. And Thompson bulldozes his way to the 40. Here as soon as you guys wrap it up. Championship Saturday. Thank you, Chris. Right down the road at the Sprint Center in Kansas City. They were there in the end, and the ones that didn't want to were not. He said, hey, they're all great kids. They're good kids, but just maybe this wasn't the right. Perez will throw it here, get hooks on the screen, hurdles over his own man. Sean Hooks, another big-time play. Hooks down to the six. Nice little token fake off the zone, come back to the tunnel screen underneath. And this is what Hooks did in the first quarter as well. When they get the ball into his hands, he turns on the penalty, negates that opportunity. First and goal from the 11. Running back is Thompson once again. Day signing class. And Cody Carthel took over this program. Thompson again. Down to the five and a push forward. Harry's and they've got four players to the right, Luke's. Rodriguez will throw oh. left. He had Smallwood. It's version. Ask Chris Cotter. We'll toss it to him. He'll tell right. you. We'll get to Chris after this. Uh, first down run for EJ Thompson. Our legs 5 10 split. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe he's thrown for 10 touchdowns, one interception. <laughs> Luis Perez on the run, and that is incomplete. He had found his way past Edwards, Cooper, and Ramsey. AM Commerce will go right back to the ground. First down might all but ice it. Back to the ground, and Thompson fighting his way forward, and he'll be stood up two yards. The Shinnick family was happy to make this move to Pensacola. It's been a magical run, and it looks like it might come to.